I think I'm, uh, I'm, I'm rare being such a young uh, female editor of the only daily newspaper in English in the country. I think that's, that's kind of unique. But, uh, but women are, I mean, if you just check out our staff, we're 90% women. We, we actually have two men on staff. Uh, no, it's not deliberate. <laughs> it's just that I, I think women are, are more reliable. And that's, that's been my experience with, with, with working with them. Uh, no, correction, we have three, two and a half. <laughs> One part-timer and two full-time staff uh, men. And I mean, the, my predecessor was a very capable uh, editor-in-chief, but he, he was just not around, you know? That's the thing about, I mean, I'm sure that doesn't apply to everyone, but uh, they just can't commit to something long enough to make it, you know, thrive and develop. She's a really amazing boss. She strikes the perfect balance between creating a really friendly work environment where we are all just, we have the freedom to be really creative and speak our minds and, you know, throw out ideas and just brainstorm as a group. But at the same time, she can be firm when she wants to be, but not in like a mean, demanding way. Um, just so everyone can get the work done and she creates just a really good combination between like friendly and firm boss. So besides the fact that she has so much experience in the field, she knows exactly what she wants the paper to look like. She has like a vision for the paper and she helps us all, you know, create that vision with her and she makes us feel all Obviously, your online uh, course was a great eye opener, but it, it just the challenges of of implementing that here are huge. There, I mean, it's it's almost impossible to do for many reasons. Partly because you don't get enough as an editor, it's very difficult to find that all round um, journalist who can who can do all these things at the same time, who have the training to do them, and and to afford someone like that. Um, and at the same time, there are also security challenges. I mean, when it comes to covering certain issues, it's, it's very likely that people, you know, toting a video camera, you know, their camera would be confiscated and stuff like that. So it's, it's just a, a huge complex uh, issue.